Good afternoon. This is the National Weather Service in Anchorage, Alaska, with Saturday's Alaska statewide weather. Front pushed rain to the North Gulf Coast and as far west as the eastern Kenai Peninsula today. Otherwise, it was dry over the western interior, eastern Aleutian areas with a few scattered showers along the Alaska Peninsula. Snow pushed over the Copper River Basin into the upper Tanah Valley in 40 mile country, where there's a snow advisory out until 4 p.m. Sunday for two to four inches of snow in those areas. Flood advisories continue for the Panhandle as a slow moving front brings a fair amount of rain into the northern and central southeast coast. Possible flooding is uh, possible this evening. Otherwise, for tonight, look for rain to gradually taper off and become lighter, but won't completely end along the southeast coast as well as the north gulf coast as another trough swings in and replaces the current frontal position. Again, look for light snow from the Copper River Basin northward across the eastern interior to about the Yukon River. And it'll stay dry over the western part of the state with mostly clear skies over the northern Bering Sea and chilly temperatures. It'll extend east-northeastward across the Seward Peninsula into the Kobukoyakuk Valley as, and, as well as portions of the North Slope. And for Sunday, look for some possible flurries or areas of light snow for the eastern Arctic coast. Otherwise, not much change. There's still a chance of rain and snow over northern Cook Inlet, Madnuska, Susitna Valleys with snow from the Alaska Range into the central interior. And there'll be lingering rain and snow showers along the North Gulf Coast, Copper River Basin. And uh, rain will increase once again over the southern pan late in the day with showers extending to the north. And for Monday, still a chance of a few snow showers over the eastern interior north of the Alaska Range. And it will be dry over the remainder of interior Alaska. Another low pressure area moving north-northwest off the coast of the Panhandle will bring more gusty winds and possibly heavier rainfall into the area. Winds gusting to 40 miles an hour are likely across the Alaska Peninsula from the northwest with also breezy conditions for Kodiak Island, but conditions will be dry over south central Alaska and much of the Bering Sea. With Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm David Percy.